Welcome to the 23rd Annual National Science Bowl, the nation's largest science competition here in Chevy Chase, Maryland. The National Science Bowl is a nationwide academic competition that tests students' knowledge in all areas of biology, chemistry, earth science, physics, astronomy, and math. I'm Carol, and I'm from North Allegheny. I did science school for the past three years, and this is my second time at nationals. I think this national competition is so great. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to meet people and my teammates and people from other states who are just so into science like me and just like hanging out with them and like playing frisbee on our off time. It's just such a great way to like bond with people that you're probably going to be working with in the future and I think it's just a great opportunity that the Department of Energy has for us. I'm Jeff Rabinowitz and I'm from North Allegheny Senior High School. I only got into chemistry in preparing for the 8th grade science bowl before I knew basically nothing of it and I just was announced to be the chemistry person for 8th grade so I learned as much as I could then and I really got interested in it. So um, I probably wouldn't be interested in chemistry at all if it wasn't for that experience. Our school is very supportive, particularly in the gifted department. Uh, we have wonderful teachers who put in a lot of time and effort into practices, making sure we learn the information we need to but also the teachers who educate in these specific fields like chemistry, physics, are very willing to help out and lend materials, resources, and even personal advice in addition to the classes. Okay, my name is Eric Liu and I'm from North Allegheny Senior High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I did the middle school science bowl and so this is my first time here in DC for science bowl. So. I think North Allegheny really helped me a lot. All the opportunities my like school offers, like Science Bowl, um, just a lot of great science programs like help me. I think the regional experience was really fun. I think, um, yeah, the competition obviously in the national level is going to be a lot tougher, but I think it's going to be interesting too. So. I'm Mike Pisich. Well, real name is Michael, but um, I go to North Allegheny. I'm a junior at North Allegheny Senior High School. I, ever since seventh grade, when the first year I participated in it, I've always been aiming towards that every fall when we make our team and then the whole year, we're aiming up until the moment at regionals and hopefully we end up here. And it's just a great experience just to meet all these kids. That are, they're brilliant and it's just to hang around this environment is just something I aim for. And it helps me in all my science and either uh, even other subjects because I know that this is something that I can really look forward to every year. Um, I was the captain of the team in 2010 when we came here and finished fourth in the whole nation. And we also won the Civility Award that year, so I have a lot of memories here. The more I've done science in high school, I've noticed, I thought it would help me like, kind of focus my uh, like, science, what I'd want to go to. I thought it would be like engineering or something, but really it's just branched out and I have much more broad appreciation of science, so it has made it difficult to choose like, what I actually want to go down to in the future. I'm Tom McCoy from North Allegheny Senior High School. Well, one thing that's really been great for me here is you know, whenever someone from another team beats me to answer a question, there's always a part of me that's a little myth that I missed it. But on the other hand, it's really cool to see that there are other people interested enough in the subjects that they're beating me to the answer. Um, so that's really cool. It makes me kind of excited to know that there's a good chance I'll be working with some of these people later. Well, there are always ones where someone pulls out a bit of knowledge that I'm just amazed they knew. Every one of my team members has done that. Every year I've done this, where I hear the um, mediator read a question and I'll think, oh, well, there's no way we're getting that one. Then one of my team members immediately just buzzes in and gets it. During one of our practices especially, um, my team member Mike accidentally buzzed in early in a math question and he just kind of intuitively guessed seven and the question hadn't even been read yet, but he was right. And it really could have been any number. So that was really impressive. Um, then I've also had a many really excellent teachers over the years. Um, my district is just full of great teachers in the sciences and in all the other subjects. So they've really helped me explore my interests. And at North Allegheny, there's the GOAL program, which is what um, sort of lets students participate in the Science Bowl and other activities like this. So it's really, really a great program because through it I've done Science Bowl, where there's the Chain Reaction Contraption Contest, which Westinghouse and the Science Center run. So that's a lot, a lot of fun too, it's a Rube Goldberg contest. Well, most of the other ones I've done have been a lot more impersonal, sort of, because th the format most of them take is you're given a written test and you know, you're sitting in a room with other people but just filling out the written answers. Um, so I really like the team aspect of Science Bowl, because even on the bonus, even on the toss of questions, you're still sitting there with your team. And then on the bonus questions, of course, you're discussing and you really get to know your team member's strengths really well. 
So I really like that aspect, and getting to meet other people from other schools is really, really fun. Um, so that's probably my favorite part of Science School compared to other competitions. Oh, I have to thank or blame um, both Lilas and Rich Dabrowski for this. I was a middle school teacher until just last season. I was moved to the high school last year. And in the middle school, Rich was doing a middle school science bowl. And it was unruly. And we all had to pitch in and do a lot of things. And so he kind of drug me into this. And then when um, you folks took over the middle school, I went into that sort of thing. And I saw right away, even when it was back with, with the unruly days, that this contest has so many benefits beyond just answering questions quickly in a prescribed format. One, the content is important. It's vital. And they have to study and learn a lot of things that, that they don't yet have in their curriculum. Two, the teamwork, the combination of cooperation and competition fills a huge need in how kids can learn and grow. We have an extremely high achieving district. Parents send kids to school who are well prepared and the school takes those kids and moves them as high of level as they can. So I'm gonna say that it's a combination, that, that teachers are willing and able and are supported by the administration to, to move kids forward and kids come well prepared. I would give almost all the credit though to the kids who stay after, who come early, who work through lunch, who read textbooks on their own. In fact, we were just having a practice session right before I came over to talk with you and one kid got a question wrong and one kid got an answer right. And the one said, how did you get that right? That wasn't in our curriculum. And she said, oh, that was in this other textbook that I read on her own. And that's the sort of opportunities that Science Bowl gives and the sort of opportunities that these kids take on for themselves. It, it, is, it is a very difficult, challenging competition, but I would say that while Science Bowl questions may be like zip and pass, in the first couple of years I did this, I didn't really understand what I should be doing. It took us a few years to kind of get into a groove. Frankly, the whole WXYZ answer choices instead of ABC, that was hard for us. You know, we were in middle school going, why? Why are they doing this? I'm Allison Sutterby from Ingomar Middle School. Well, we definitely learned a lot about like building and hands-on things like that. Um, our schools also sort of prepared us for it, but like we have car competitions at school too, but we use uh, different kinds of batteries. So it'll help like, first of all, the design document with the car like helped us um, learn to be creative and be very detailed with our explanations of how our work was done. And building the car itself taught us about problem solving and fixing it. I'm Ratuja Rebu Prakash, that's my full name, but people call me Ratu. And I'm from Ingomar Middle School and I'm in seventh grade. Well, I don't know about school yet because we haven't learned as much as we learn in Science Bowl, but in life, like, it just generally gives me, like, a big knowledge. Like, we actually have another thing in our school, NAL. So a lot of the questions from Science Bowl are used there. So it's kind of like, if I, if I hear it here and then I hear it there, I automatically know the answer. So it helps in a lot of places. I'm Anushka Shah and I go to Ingomar Middle School. I definitely think here it's a little bit more serious. I would definitely say practice, study, and just be ready to have a fun. Be ready to have, have a blast. My name is John Atrano and I'm from Ingomar Middle School. I think the, it was harder than last year from what I remember and the questions were a lot harder also. I like the competition, I, I, I especially like winning, <laughs> but I also like uh, learning from my mistakes when I lose because it teaches me a lot of different new uh, subjects. Hi, I'm Gushio Mandava and I'm from Ingomar Middle School. Like, I guess in the country, you know, where you stand. And coming here for a second time is a bit of a challenge because you want to do better each time. So. Yeah, I actually want to come back here and volunteer, like, like do a couple of questions, or maybe even bring a team here. Rich Dubrowski, Ingomar Middle School. Over the years, I think we've found that uh, probably for us, the best way to, to prepare is to just do hundreds and hundreds of questions, rounds of questions. We do as many as we can get. I don't know, uh, Ingomar Middle School and uh, North Allegheny 
Uh, we have a pretty good tradition for science and math especially. And uh, I think that it's a great experience for the kids, not just being here, but in preparing. Uh, they learn a lot of science that they wouldn't normally learn through the process of preparing for the competition.